Hey guys, it's been a long time since I've done the Counter-Strike Create Your Own Map. I figured I'd uh, continue this series while uh, doing some Minecraft videos. Uh, so uh, I watched the previous videos and it looks like we left off uh, needing to do the borders and some lighting and some water and creating the bomb site and spawn points and all that fun stuff. So I think it will just be easiest to create our border so we know what we're looking at. Um, create just an outside lining. And then uh, test the map to make sure there isn't any flaws. Because it's been a while since I've uh, seen this map and want to make sure we avoid that at all costs. So let's get started. Oh wow, it's been a while. Not sure where everything is. I'm just gonna raise this like four high for now. We can always change it later. Uh, wow, it's been so long since I've done this. Don't remember what we were doing. Oh, okay, I see. Zoom out. Uh, my mouse is not responding. Come on. Oh, there's water on it or something. Hold on a second. Get that off. Okay, there we go. All right. Lighting is very important, but first we're going to want to make our outdoor lighting before we make our indoor lighting. Mainly because we haven't really put a roof over it yet. But So this way we get an idea of what the lighting will look like and we can actually look for errors. Alright, so you want to hit your light bulb, go into objects over here on the right, and you want to scroll down to light and environment. And just like the terrorist, you want to click right here, and let's go down there. Now, if you leave it here, the light is going to generate from the floor. That is not what we want. So we're just going to drag this bad boy up. We'll make it over our wall. And we're going to move him just a little bit, so it kind of looks like... If I can grab it. So it kind of looks like the sun is coming off from this direction over here. Now you can change the settings by pressing Control T. What? Let me change you. Oh, okay, just double click it on the screen then. You used to be able to just press Control T. That was kind of weird, but you can, you know, mess around with all these and change it to how you like it. I like mine. It's uh, uh, a little darker than that. I like mine to look like sunrise and sunset, and that's all I need to do. Exit out. Now, for it to uh, load properly, we need to give it a sky, or you're going to see this horrible lag. So, we're just going to go to our builder block, type in sky, and you don't want to pick these, oops, what? 
you don't want to pick these, uh, you know, uh, pictured ones. They're not going to do what you want them to do. We want skybox. Here we are. And we're going to zoom out here. Make sure my and we're just going to cover this entire area like so. And then we're going to come over here and cover this entire area. Make sure your light isn't in there, and you're going to hit enter. However, now we have this box everywhere. It's covering things. It's going to send a whole bunch of errors. So we're going to go to uh, tools here, make hollow, and we only want it to have eight sides. So if we hit enter, now if we look up, it is totally hollow. Now you can do that for any object, give it however many sides you want, but this is the easiest. Oh, it looks like I should have put four as I'm looking at the screen. But now we can touch, um, test our map, see if we like it, see if there's any errors, and then we can continue. So, let's go test it. Be right back. I guess it's kind of important for me to show you how to test your map. So, what we're going to do is we're going to click, if you remember from the first episode, the compile button. Run map. So, just keep everything normal, normal, normal. You know, don't run the game after compiling. I found it it does weird things, like, we'll try to start up and throw errors, but, you know, it might work for you guys. And you just hit OK, all this lovely stuff will happen, and depending on, you know, how much stuff is on there is how long it will take to load. So you just exit out, and then you're going to open up your game. Alright, let's okay. get it going. So here we are loading our map. Remember, you want to pick Terrace, because that's the only guy we've created on our map for currently. And here we are. In the middle of our map. Lighting looks okay. Looks a little dark. You might want to make it a little brighter, but... Now we're going to check these walls down, especially down here. Make sure everything is connecting. Especially since I was having a hard time putting things where they needed to be. And then you also want to look for, you know, it not to... Uh, you know that brush I was looking weird when we were doing the sewer? We're also looking for that to make sure that's not throwing any errors. Yeah, it is looking pretty good so far. Here's one mistake. I'll we'll probably want to extend the wall a little bit. Oh, and this is what you're looking for. This is a perfect example. So we'll want to uh, extend the floor probably here a little bit. But that is why it's very important to look. We want to correct this before we get too far into the map. Yeah, and it looks like it's that way all the way around. Except for there for some reason. Oh! And apparently we can't get out! Okay, so a good first test. So we just need to correct those errors and uh, continue making our map even more fun. Thank you guys, see you next time! Oh my god, it looks so weird! The shading, the darkness, what are we going to do? Ah! Actually, it looks kind of cool if it wasn't for all that black. Let's try to light it up. Nope. Anyway, that's what happens.